Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, March 12, 2024. I hope you're all doing well today and I hope that you will have a wonderful day. May the God of peace be with you today and may he continue to watch over you and your families. Our reading today, it comes to us from John chapter 11, reading verses 1 to 4. And it says, Now a certain man was sick named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent to him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Now Jesus loved Martha and their sister and Lazarus. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word and we are grateful to him for the privilege to read his word and we pray this morning that as we continue to study that his Holy Spirit will give us understanding. Now in John chapter 11 it speaks about the story of Lazarus. Now who was Lazarus? Lazarus was the brother of Martha and Mary. And as the scripture said, this was the same Mary who anointed Jesus' feet with the expensive oil and then dried his feet with her hair. So that Mary. Now, unfortunately, Lazarus got sick and he was so sick that eventually he died. Now, the sister sent word to Jesus that Lazarus was sick because Jesus was in the same region or the same town that he was and so word was sent to him that Lazarus was sick and so he decided to stay a little while longer in that place so he did not go to the house of Lazarus when he got the news he stayed where he was for another couple of days now after the brothers and of course when Jesus did not come the sisters they weren't too pleased about it because their brother had died and they were hoping that Jesus would have come so he could have healed him but he did not come and when he died he was buried and after the fourth day Jesus showed up now when the sister saw that Jesus came she went over to him and she said to him that if he was there when her brother was sick then he could have done something about it but no he's dead but jesus had a plan why he delayed so he, he it was not because he didn't care but he delayed because he had a plan jesus came and in verse 39 it says that at this point the body started decompose so he was there in the grave for about four days and when jesus came jesus asked them to roll away the stone and the stone was rolled away and Lazarus was called forth and he came forth. And I'm just summarizing here, basic summary. But Jesus had a plan and his plan was that the name of God must be glorified. When he called forth Lazarus, Lazarus came forth from the grave and he was alive again. Now, let's bring it home to us. How can we apply the principle of this lesson to our own situations and to our own lives like Lazarus we have moments where we experience a time of mourning a time of sadness a time of pain and suffering and not necessarily in the same situation like the sister it doesn't have to be a debt that you are experiencing but maybe you lose your job maybe you have a, a sick family member maybe you have an illness something that you're experiencing and it seems like this thing there is no relief coming for you and you prayed just like Martha and Mary they sent and called for help and it seems like the help wasn't coming 
or the help was delayed and in the same way you prayed and you asked God for help so that you can come out of the situation that you are in so that you can receive healing that you can be restored but he didn't come and he hasn't come now what do you do do you give up or do you keep believing do you keep trusting him what will be your next move as i said earlier jesus could have come before lazarus died but he did not in the same way god can show up in your situation now but he chose to respond and to show up when it is most needed and as i said earlier or as the scripture said earlier that him showing up the time that he shows up is because he has a plan and so he has a plan for you so don't you give up keep open keep trusting keep holding on because you will gain the victory he will deliver and he will deliver on time so whatever it is that you're experiencing now whatever breakthrough that you want God is gonna give it to you he may not come when you want him but on time he will be your season is not yet your season will come God promised us in his word that he will be there at all times for us he will never leave us nor forsake us and you might be experiencing pain tears may be falling from your eyes you feel like you are going through this thing for a long time now and you just need a break not yet not yet keep holding on my sister keep holding on my brother because you will gain the victory god will deliver you god will come through and you will be glad that he come through at the time when he come through for you so don't you worry sure the situation seems like it's unrecoverable it seems like it is just dead the stone is already at the grave it is just decomposing in the hurt just like the body it seems like this just there's nothing can come of it anymore don't you forget who god is god he can resurrect your situation he can bring life back into your situation he can restore you he restored the dead and so whatever it is that you are facing at this point god will bring you to that mountain of victory so keep on believing and keep on trusting him because he will deliver on time amen may god continue to bless you and may god continue to keep you as you continue to trust in him amen